Welcome to our second packed meeting. Okay. We were so pleased with the turnout of our, of our previous meeting. We had over 250 community members there. Uh, we received a lot of great feedback that will help us as we prepare for these future meetings. Remember, there's a 30 plus member facilitating team of community members meeting on a regular basis to help plan these sessions and coordinate the whole PACT program. As you know, PACT is a community wide effort to develop a long range plan for our school district. PACT stands for Planning a Course Together, and it indicates that we are making a pact with each other to work together to develop a long range plan for the St. Joseph School District. In order to su succeed, PACT needs your support, the support of everyone in our community, parents, patrons, residents, district staff, and students. The strength of our plan, of the plan that emerges from PACT, depends on your faithful participation and input. I'm one of four community chairs for this PACT process. My name is Stacy Park. The other chairs behind me, um, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bill Hedge, um, Mrs. Lois Hedge, and Mr. Lee Sawyer. Um, we really appreciate all of you who attended our first meeting and are back for this session. If this is your first packed community engagement session, welcome. We hope you will see the value in these sessions and will want to be in attendance for all of our sessions. We have some extra agenda packets from the first session, and if you would like one of those packets, please feel free to pick one of those up as you leave. They're on the table over here by the doors. Remember that each of our sessions will be like, build it, like uh, a building block leading to recommendations to the Board of Education. You can think of this process as if we were writing a book and if each session was a chapter in a book. Um, when we finish, we'll create a summary or a conclusion to that book. On each table is a sign-in sheet. If you've not already done so, please pass this around to everyone in your table. This is our way of taking attendance at each meeting and getting you on our mailing list so we can keep you informed of any updates. We hope that you appreciate what we're trying to achieve by requesting that you sit at the table assigned to you by giving you a table number when you arrive. We don't mean to mandate your table assignment, but we quarterly request that you honor our small group assignment method. Here's why. For us to be successful in this process, we must talk with one another. We'll end up with a better product if we can discuss issues and opportunities with people who may think a little different than we do. It is important that we engage in dialogue with people representing different perspectives in different regions of our district. This helps us in our own personal growth and will help us as a community and as a school district. A copy of our meeting schedule is included in your agenda packet. The schedule contains the dates and topics for all our community engagement sessions. We have a total of 10 community workshops. Note that we are offering two options for each session. So one session will be held on a weekday evening and then another will be held on a Saturday morning. Note that the locations of the meetings rotate between the three high schools, Benton, Central, and Lafayette. We wanted to make sure we held meetings in all three regions of the district. We hope that this will help our attendance. Each meeting will will feature a primary topic for study and feedback. In this meeting, our focus will be early childhood education. A reminder that each of our meetings will follow a timed agenda in this format. Each meeting will start with an inform informational presentation about the topic for the workshop, followed by a small group work activity giving you the opportunity to respond to the presentation. Here's how the process will be documented. At each session, you will receive a copy of the informational PowerPoint presentation and any supplemental data. Then following each meeting, a set of documents will be produced that will later help in creating the recommendations. These documents include a verbatim response from each small group's worksheet and an executive summary reflecting the collective work of all participants at the session. So the verbatim responses are here on, your, on this yellow sheet and there's two of those at each table. If you would like your own copy, uh, they are, they're here at this table. So if you'd like to take one with you, you can get those at the table there. At each meeting, you'll receive a packet of information that will contain these items from that previous session. You will find, 
you will find the executive summary then in your packet. It's important to note that these meetings will not be con conducive to the format of an open forum or debate. These are work, se work sessions focused on results and reaching consensus or collective decision as a group. We want to maximize our time to be as positive and productive as possible while still allowing for the free exchange of ideas. All these documents will be available on our official PACT website at pactforsjsd.com. You may also go to the district website on the, their homepage. There's a PACT logo. You can click on that and also get to those documents. There's just a couple of other things that I need to mention. Um, we know your time is very valuable, and we want to honor that two-hour time commitment. And so each session will end at the time promised. Um, we have planned a pretty tight agenda for each of the meetings, and we have a lot to cover in a very short period of time. As such, it will be important for us not to interrupt the presenter with questions. We realize that you will probably have questions, so the presenter and other packed representative, representatives will be circulating among the tables and available to answer any questions during our small group work time. We request that you respect our plan and procedure for questions and answers. Um, now, there may be a question you have that's not necessarily directly related to the topic that we're studying, so you may notice these I have a question sheets at your table. Um, if you have a question or comment, please write it on one of those and um, turn it in to us at the end of the meeting. You can also call or send us an email and we will have the appropriate person respond to you in a timely manner. Okay, so now on to our topic for this meeting is early childhood education. And our presenters are Mr. Tom Watkins, attorney at law and chairman of Success by Six, an early childhood education model program. And um, Mrs. Sherry Patterson, St. Joseph School District Associate Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Well, thank you very much. It's, um, it's kind of fun to come back to uh, Central High School. I remember watching an awful lot of basketball here about two years before cuneiform writing was invented. I even snuck a kiss up there just underneath that Indian one time, but don't tell my wife, Lynn, who's in the audience. Um, I'm Tom Watkins. I've been involved pretty heavily with Success by Six. Oh, you can't hear? Okay. Now can you hear? Thank you. Uh, I'm Tom Watkins. I've been heavily involved with Success by Six for a number of years now, the last three as the chairman. Um, I was fortunate to be part of a team fielded by the state of Missouri that went to um, an early childhood symposium at Harvard's Center for the Developing Child. I was um, asked to chair the panel that developed pre-K, that's pre-kindergarten, recommendations for the state's coordinating board for early childhood and I have attended a number of uh, regional and national symposiums that were um, directed at the business community, educating the business community in regard to early childhood stuff and I'm um, here to share some of the information that I've learned with you all. I, I'm going to start by telling you how impressed I am at how quickly this group and the group down, was the other one at Benton? Both groups immediately picked up on what I believe is the only, the single issue that can make a significant difference in the outcomes of our children in school. And that's early childhood. It would be a mistake for you to think about early childhood as a social program or as a community expense. Think about it as an investment. And it's an investment that's a pretty good one, if I can figure this out. It's a good investment. The Minneapolis Federal Reserve Bank has done um, a great deal of work studying the economics of early childhood programs. They have concluded that 